Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. In my Easy Keys Jedi Mind Trick video, I demonstrated how to get Easy Keys 2 to control other third-party plugins. It's a valuable workflow. The link is in the description. Check it out. When I covered FL Studio, I took a more scenic, more complicated route with more options using the Patcher plugin and a user Never Dust reminded me I should just be using the MIDI in and out ports. It's much simpler, much more robust, and it's fast. So in this video, I'll demonstrate that. In FL Studio, go to Plugin Database, Install, Generators, VST3, and I dragged Easy Keys 2 out to my playlist. And I also grabbed my preferred third-party plugin, in this case, Contact 7, out to the playlist. So Easy Keys 2 is going to send its MIDI to Contact 7 and control it. Let me open up Easy Keys 2, and I'll go into Settings, General, and I'll go down to MIDI Out and enable MIDI Out by selecting it here. Now, if I play a groove, Easy Keys is sending its MIDI out of the plugin. In FL Studio, if we go over to the wrapper settings, we want to specify what port that MIDI comes out. So you go down to MIDI, Output Port, select any number you want. I'll choose 10 randomly. I'll close this. Let me open up Contact 7. Notice Contact 7 isn't playing anything. I'll go to the wrapper settings. Go to MIDI. Easy Keys is sending MIDI out of port 10, so we want to receive MIDI from port 10. So here's MIDI, input, put this up to 10. We hear the harp and we see the instrument playing. So that's how we route the MIDI. If we go down into the mixer, if we don't want to hear Easy Keys, we could mute it. And now we only hear my third party instrument. Um, that may not be a sure shot for you because some of us want to blend the two instruments, not just get rid of the first one. So I'll turn it back on. We can use our mixer tab. Can take the volume all the way out or blend it. That's how you route Easy Keys MIDI out in FL Studio. Hope you dug it.